Hi friends, how are you? Today I will show you recent volcanic eruption in Iceland. We also went to Iceland two years before. We enjoyed their lot in Blue Lagoon. But now situation is different. On average, a volcano erupts in Iceland erupts every five years. Since 2021, however, the frequency has been closer to every 12 months. The area broadly known as Fagradalsfjall, some 35 kilometers from the capital Reykjavik, flared to life after a series of earthquakes on the Reykjanes Peninsula. The three eruptions, some consider one single eruption with months-long pauses, mark the beginning of a new geological era on the southwestern peninsula, which has been dormant for the past 800 years. Fresh volcanic eruption spews red lava and smoke in Iceland. A volcano in southwestern Iceland erupted on 9 May 2024 for the fifth time since December, spewing red lava that once again threatened the coastal town of Grindavik and led to the evacuation of the popular Blue Lagoon. Eruption looks beauty. Southwest of Iceland's capital, the volcano finally erupted. This webcam captured the moment, but not the roar of Mother Nature as molten rock lit up the night sky. Once the Earth's crust had been breached, the lava flow quickly spread along three miles of fissures that had been formed by thousands of earthquakes. The scientists had predicted and hoped the eruptions took place north of a small fishing town called Grindavik, abandoned by its 4,000 residents in October when their homes were first threatened. The Icelandic authorities dispatched a helicopter crew to assess the potential damage. They were concerned that the rivers of lava might jeopardize a geothermal power station and the world-famous Blue Lagoon thermal baths. On the ground, police officer Thorir Thorsteinsson was working to enforce the exclusion zone. We had cleared the town and the area, and now we're just securing the area and closing every road to the area. Then we are just trying to manage the situation here. Some thrill-seekers managed to get close to the action, among them American tourist Robert Forrester. I'm very excited to be here in, in this place, and this is just fascinating to see just nature in action. I just... it's just like something from a movie. But the first concerns of French tour guide Ayel Kermarek were for the people worried about losing their homes. The town involved, which then might end up under the lava, that's 
flowing behind us. So yeah, that's kind of mixed feelings. It's still amazing to see, but that's kind of a bittersweet feeling at the moment. As night gave way to day, the eruptions above Grindavik had diminished by two thirds. The location of this uh, erupting fissure is optimal if we were absolutely to have an eruption within this volcanic system, uh, it is uh, quite favorable towards being as far from uh, infrastructure as possible. Rika Pedersen leads the Nordic Volcanology Center at the University of Iceland. So do you think this is it? Is this as bad as it's going to get? Well, um, that is very difficult to say. Uh, this is the typical behavior of a fissure eruption. It starts quite vigorously and it also, also often has an exponential decay, but the extent, the duration of it, we can't say anything about. It doesn't mean that it's over in two days. It could be, but it can also continue with low effusion rates for weeks to months. It's simply not possible to say. What about the threat to the geothermal power station and also to the Blue Lagoon? So both the Blue Lagoon and the geothermal power plant has now been f fenced off with some uh, big dikes. So that's been constructed during these 40 days that we've had since the first dike uh, was intruded. Compared to other eruptions around the world, this is pretty small. But I had a question for Professor Dougal Jerram, a volcanologist at Oslo University. Is this particular volcano likely to kickstart other ones within the chain in Iceland? That's not necessarily the, the, the case. Um, one of the great things about Iceland is it's very well monitored. And one of the reasons why we've been able to sort of focus in on this region, they've been able to successfully evacuate people and minimize all of the risk associated with the eruption is because uh, Iceland monitors the ground very, very well. So they would be looking at a number of different places on Iceland where they have good seismic ground monitoring and also satellite data which monitors whether the ground is kind of... Hope you enjoyed video. Lot of videos coming on.